Hello, my name is Clara Sanchez. I'm the Youth Digital Engagement Officer at Civicus, the World Alliance for Citizen Participation. I am part of a team who engaged in a very interesting experiment the past year and a half with young activists. We know that young activists can make really great change in their communities, but they have difficulty accessing the resources such as funding that international donors make available. Their lack of experience sometimes put them in a very disadvantaged position when competing for these resources with long-established organizations. And when they do obtain resources, the stark restrictions that come with them make it difficult for activists to achieve the pro their projects in the way that they want to. So we wanted to uh, see if there is a different way of supporting youth-led movements and uh, in late 2018, after evaluating young activists' obstacles and barriers, we launched the Goalkeepers Youth Action Accelerator. This accelerator has supported 26 young activists from the Global South to make progress towards the sustainable development goals in their communities. I have called uh, three of uh, the project team members uh, to put them some questions so that they can share our learnings as well as our failures. They are Elisa Novoa, who's the Youth Engagement Coordinator at Civicus, Kesalbaka Paratlatle, who is the Youth Liaison Officer at Civicus, and uh, Darlington Mutakwa, former Data Specialist. Hello, everybody. Hi, Clara. Hi, Clara. I will start with uh, a question to Kesa. The activists uh, that were supported report very good uh, outcomes as a result of their participation in this program. Many of them speak of an improvement in their skills and even some report that they have been able to engage in conversations with uh, decision makers in their countries as a result of this participation. Kesa, what makes this program so interesting for the participants? So this is because the package went beyond funding. Usually when we think of civil society resourcing, we think of only giving funds to organizations. But with this accelerator, we wanted to check if expanding the range of resources would lead to more project growth and program results. So in addition to providing money for the project development, we also had a fund that they could use to attend events, trainings across the globe, um, source technical support, and we also included a mentorship program with experienced specialists. So the wholesome package led to them realizing the acceleration that we were looking for in so many different fronts. Thank you, Kesa. And uh, Elisa, apart from this, uh, the activists, they also mentioned that uh, the visibility that they obtain from participating in international fora, as well as the sharing of their stories in the Civicos digital channels, led uh, to greater legitimacy on their part. How did this go? Civicos social media channels and the media outreach done for this project have also been very interesting for the advocates. We work with them to feature their stories and program results, but also to amplify their points of view on the resourcing of youth-led organizations. This space that they have been granted has earned many of them a legitimacy that led to new partnerships in their countries as well as increased opportunities for international collaboration. Thank you. Uh, Darlington, uh, when we designed the program, we thought that providing them with uh, monitoring and evaluation tools and frameworks might build their resilience. Can you explain a little bit more about this, please? So we worked on a very simple monitoring and evaluation framework that allowed for quick understanding and usability when reporting. So our previous civil society resourcing research revealed that reporting requirements from donors are often rigid, burdensome, and suppose an obstacle to activists working towards the actual needs of the community on top of the time and expertise required to complete these reports in the precise language that the donor uh, once. The framework we used allowed the advocates and us to really analyze the progress achieved and it was adaptable to each of their programs based on their qu quarterly updates and changes in their context. So as a result, many participants started to use these tools beyond this particular program and adopted them Sim, adopted similar methodologies for other work within their organizations as well. 
Great. I have one more question for Elisa. So we often use the word we when we speak about designing this, this program, but we didn't do it alone uh, among Civicus colleagues. We were very adamant from the beginning that uh, if this program was going to address young people's needs, it had to be co-designed by a solid group of young activists. Can you explain a little bit how, how we developed this process and what we learned along the way, please? Yes, having this program be truly youth-led was essential to us, to Civicus. A group of young activists from the Global South was selected by the program partners to act as the steering committee. So the top 113 applications for the accelerator were shared with them to select the final 26 uh, goalkeepers 2019 advocates. However, we realized along the way that this approach did not provide enough involvement for them to, uh, from the design phase and throughout the years, we needed actually the youth steering committee to be more than advisors. So for the program to really address young activist needs and perspectives. So facilitating a bigger involvement of youth from early stages when we design youth led programs and youth focused programs was a huge learning from us that we're now implementing in the current research and experiment that we are implementing called the Youth Action Lab, which has been designed with a group of nine young consultants with a major role from the inception phase. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kesa, Darling, Tung, and Elisa for sharing your thoughts today. There is more content available about this accelerator on our website, including a full program report, a summary, and several stories about the advocates' journeys. Visit civicus.org accelerator if you would like to know more.